Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you an introduction for a new project. I am so stoked about this one. So this is I Heart the 90s and it was created by Laura Takanaga. Am I hopefully I'm saying that right? I will link her channel information down below. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook project. I didn't mention that at the beginning. I'm just so excited about this project. <laughs> Because I was born in the 70s, you know, and then grew like had my teen years in the 90s. And I am so excited. I love I love of course, I created the 80s project, the child of the 80s project. And I was so happy to see this year that there was a 90s project because I was like, I don't, I didn't want to put together the prompts for it. But I'm so happy that somebody else took it on. And thank you, Laura, for creating a project about the 90s. I'm so excited. So Laura created a project with, uh, let's see, how many prompts? There are 40 prompts. And we are to choose 8 to 10 items to start. And it's a rolling style project. So when you roll things out, you roll in new prompts. And there will be monthly updates. And this is a year long project. So it started on the 1st of January. I'm just now getting to film it. It's the 5th currently, just so kind of trying to make it fit in my filming schedule. I'm not exactly sure 100% when this is going up. I'm thinking like the 7th or 8th around ish that time frame. We'll see if I can make it happen. But anyway, I'm going to pull up the Tiny Decisions app, which is where I have loaded all of the prompts. And we're going to see which prompts I get. And then I will pick makeup items for them. So let me pull this up. And I have to remember to count because I didn't count last time. I'm actually going to screen record this and scooch over and we'll share with you which ones we get. Okay, so here we go. You'll see the screen recording here over Milo's face. Hi, Milo. What a cutie. Okay, the first one. The Lion King by, so you're supposed to bring in a black owned brand. I loved that movie. Oh my gosh. Number two is Beanie Babies, a product that reminds you of your favorite Beanie Baby. Oh my God, that's going to be so hard. Probably the Flamingo, whatever that one was. Didn't they have a Flamingo? Hmm. Number three is Inflatable Furniture. <laughs> A lightweight, airy product. <laughs> Number four. Let me get that. Gel pens, pastel product or packaging. I ha still have gel pens. Who doesn't have gel pens? Number five. <laughs> Bop it, a product with packaging that pumps, twists, or pulls. Do I remember the Bop it? I don't know if I remember the Bop it. Pumps, twists, or pulls. Hmm. Number six is Forrest Gump Whole Collection Roulette. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. That's going to be a challenge. Okay. Forrest Gump, man. They stole the Oscar from Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction deserved it. Number seven, Baby Tees, a mini product. <laughs> I could not wear those. I did not have the figure for those. Okay, and then I can't remember if that was seven or eight. I'm gonna do one more just in case. <laughs> Miss Cleo, a product you feel like is a ripoff. Okay, let me go pick my items and I will be right back. It always takes me so long to find stuff. <laughs> I'm back. And I have almost all my items. I have seven. And the eighth one is the whole collection roulette prompt, which is Forrest Gump. It's really funny. I have since had dinner because I was starving and my food arrived. I delivered, got some food delivered. So my makeup is looking a hot mess. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let me pull up my whole collection roulette wheel. So I have this on a website called Wheel of Names. And I excluded things like lip balms, mascaras, brow products, because I don't want to have like those products open more than what I already have open. I'm trying to think of what else I left out. That's pretty much the gist. Concealers, I think I took out. So yeah, everything else is in here. So let's see what we get. 
Oh my god. And I'm going to use this ten times. Whatever it is. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Cover Foundation in Ivory. R23 230. R230 Ivory. Is that a mini? I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so for Forrest Gump, I am bringing in... The Makeup Forever Ultra HD found Invisible Cover Foundation in R230. This is a 5 mil little sample. I'm just going to finish this. I figured by the time I use it 10 times, I'll be really close to finishing it. So yeah, we're just going to finish that up. That's awesome. Okay, my next prompt, I didn't do these in order that we rolled them. I just have them in order that I remembered that they were rolled in. That makes sense. I have the Lion King, which is a black owned brand. So I am bringing in a lip gloss from Pat McGrath. I mentioned last year and I can't remember which part project I had this in, but I had another Pat McGrath lip gloss in a project and I used it 20 times and I got through a pretty significant amount of it. And I was like, I need to bring lip glosses into projects more frequently. So this is the Lust Gloss Lip Gloss in Secret Lover. Secret lover. This is beautiful. And I figured it's a great color for the winter. I'm not going to use this 20, but I am going to use this 10. The next prompt is Beanie Babies, a product that reminds you of your favorite Beanie Baby. I really wasn't the Beanie Baby age. Like I think by the, when Beanie Babies came out, I was older. But I did have a few and I think I'm going to choose the Flamingo as I mentioned whenever it was whenever I was picking my prompts because my my college sorority was a local sorority and our mascot was the Flamingo. So I know that I would love the Flamingo. Like give me all the little stuff Flamingos. So anyway, I am going to bring in an item that ha that's like a, the color of a Flamingo, which is pink. So I'm bringing in a lipstick from La Roc. This is the Alter Ego, no, Highly Pigmented Matte Lipstick in Aphrodite. I think this color, I, I think this was the color I brought. I had come into 365 Days of Eyeshadows last year. Lipsticks. 365 Days of Lippies. Not eyeshadows. Last year, and I thought it actually would look great, look uh, that I would really like it in the winter. And so I want to confirm that theory. And so I want to wear this 10 times. And you know, if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll declutter it. So that's the plan with that one. The next prompt is Bop It. I've never, I, I Googled it. I've never seen that thing. Nope. Had no idea what a Bop It was. <laughs> but now I know what it does. A product with packing that pumps, twists, or pulls. And that maybe packaging is what she meant or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm looking for something that has, that twists, that you pull to open, or that you pump. So I went with something that twists and I'm bringing in a mascara. This is in my 100 Colorful Empties. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. I have Secret Lover and Climax in here. <laughs> Climax Mascara by NARS. I'm not being dirty. This is a mini. <laughs> I want to finish this. Wow. Where did that, how did that, how did this get to be so sexual? Okay. The next prompt is Miss Cleo, a product you feel like is a ripoff. <laughs> Miss Cleo. <laughs> okay, that prompt is really freaking funny. A product you think is a ripoff. Okay, so I purchased this product. I recently showcased it in a haul, showcased it in a haul. And so I own it, of course, and I am very excited to have it in my collection. At full price, it's a ripoff, in my opinion. At sale price, give it to me, because I got this like 35% off. So I have this by Pat McGrath. 
another Pat McGrath product. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in the shade Lunar Nude. So this is the holiday highlighter from this year. It's like $62 and I was no way was I going to spend $62 on a highlighter. No. So 35% off is what? Like Twenty bucks, so forty bucks. I can do forty dollars. Sixty-two was a little bit high. Anyway, here we go. Ooh, look at that reflective packaging. Hello, you can see my camera. Let me. Wait. Here we go. We'll put it. We'll have it point to my lights. <laughs> so here is the highlighter. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I really wanted it. I think the shade looks gorgeous. Where did I swatch it last time? I want to use this 10 times. Did I swatch it in the middle? I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't have makeup just to look at, right? I should have makeup to like play with. I don't know. Oh, but it's so pretty. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait to try that. So, 10 times. I don't want to let my expensive stuff go to waste. So we've got to use it. The next prompt is gel pens, pastel packaging, or product. So I'm with packaging, so I don't really have a lot of pastel things. Cats chasing. So I this is new to my collection. This is by Tarte. It's in this really pretty pastel blue, tealy blue packaging. It's the H2O Balm, and I have the shade Room Service. Balm. Here's the shade. It is so pretty. So pretty. Oh, 10 times. <sighs> Can't wait to try that. Okay, so for inflatable furniture, which is my next prompt, a lightweight, airy product. So I am almost done with my buffing powder that I've been working on, which is the Hourglass Veil powder. Translucent Veil product, whatever, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I was like, well, I need to bring in a new buffing powder. So I was like, this is light and airy and it's fancy. <sighs> I have this giant jar of the original La Mer powder and the powder, the powder. This actually I was thinking about for like a ripoff. However, the new powder I think is a ripoff. This was 25 grams of product for like a hundred bucks. That's not bad for La Mer, right? And the how beautiful this powder is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful powder. Now the new version is like less than less than half this. I think it's now like eight grams for the same price. So that's rip off. This is not. I want to use this 50 times because there's a crap ton of product in here and I need to work on it because it's a very expensive item. And I think I even got this on Mercari. So, you know, I probably paid a little bit more because it's just, anyway, it's just continued. I want to use this 50 times. The last prompt. This is Baby Tees, a mini product. So I actually started using this, but I am very curious to see how long it's going to take me to finish this. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I think... This is also in my 100 Colorful Empties. I'm very, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder how long that will take me to use if I use it like every single day. So we're going to see. I'm pulling this in on the 5th of January. I mean, I've been using it since January 1st, but we're going to see how long it takes me to finish this because I want to finish it. So yeah, those are the items I'm bringing in. I am very excited. I'm really happy with the items that I picked. It took me forever to pick them. I could not decide. I didn't want to bring in like five lip products. But I was very tempted. As it is, I brought in three. 
I do have a lot of lip products. As if you watch my channel, you know this. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Milo's here. So I have put everything into the tiny decisions. I'm going to pull up the tiny decision decisions. I keep saying that. I'm, I have a hard time saying tiny decisions. Look at Milo's. He's all hanging out on the bed. Being all cute. So I really wasn't the beanie baney. The last item and the last prompt is for the. Hmm. Okay, bye.